Hi everybody, right, it is Friday and just a little weekly catch up. Um, you know, some things are, you know, most things in my life are really positive and you do, you know, have a lot of luck in life and, you know, you have lots of fun at work, you have deals coming in, the phone's going, you, your pipeline's good, but you do get the downs. And uh, yesterday, it was a bit of a negative day in the afternoon. Um, we've been working on a project for seven months with a client in Fulham. And basically, the client shook my hand on a deal. We gave him a ballpark number, shook my hand and said, Nick, welcome on board. You know, looking forward to working with you in the future. So basically, on the back of that, I brought in an architect, a freelance architect. And um, I let the architect get on with it because the architect had to do some uh, design drawings. So he had, work, he had work to do before we could firm up a price, basically. But we all knew what the ballpark price was. So I let the architect move forward. He went to contract with the client. So he carried on the work. But what actually happened, the architect got carried away with the design. He wasn't aware of the budget, which was 200, maybe 200,000 quid. And... Um, it ended up, when it came back to us, it was over budget. And then, because it was over budget, the client decided to get three or four other quotes just to see how it was. And, but we're still, we're still, you know, one of the, uh, not the cheapest, but in the middle. Um, but in the meantime, the architect used to work for us three years ago. He went independent, but um, he was talking too much, loose lips sinks ships so he was talking about my past relationship with my ex-business partner uh, i won't mention his name but everyone knows him um and basically our relationship ended like a bad divorce um so basically this architect was telling the client all about what went on behind the scenes so what happened the client gets nervous why would you open your mouth and tell you, the client about um, what was going on? It's private. Private. So uh, anyway, I had a conversation with the owner of uh, the property yesterday. He was very, very nervous on the phone. And he said, um, unfortunately, that they've decided to go with someone else. What? So seven months, 10, 15 meetings, hours and hours and hours pricing the job up. And then they decide to go with somewhere else. But listen, you have your ups and you have your downs. And this was just a down, but it's not worth dwelling on it. Yes, it's cost us money. But and I was peed off yesterday. But listen, I'm pissed off for five minutes and then it's finished. You move on. It's his loss. Because if we would have come to new projects, we would have treasured him like family. We would have looked after him. He would have had his project done fantastically. He would have come in on budget and he would have, had a, a, he would have had a, the best service possible. But no, he's decided or his wife's decided to go with somewhere else. We can't break their, we can't hold their, hold them to ransom and twist their arm to say, you look, come with us. Uh, but listen, that's the moral of the story. Don't dwell on negative things. Move on and go get some more work.